I'm asking for your vote again because even after five years out of the Scottish Parliament, I've still got the fire in my belly. I've still got the same passion for independence. I've still got a passion for better government for Scotland and I've still got a passion for better government of the Highlands and Islands. And even although we're closer to independence now than we've ever been, we still have a very tough fight in our hands. And we're going to need every bit of political experience and every bit of hard-won real-life experience that we can muster. And that's why I feel I've got to step up once more to help man the ramparts in what's going to be the battle of our lives. But it's also my feeling that the fight to keep the particular issues faced by the Highlands and Islands firmly on the agenda has to continue. Now, the Scottish Government has done a lot. The, the, uh, the rollout of RET across all the ferry routes, the, the passing of the Islands Act with its concept of island proofing. These have been great steps forward for our islands, and I was very proud to play my part in these in the 2011 to 2016 Parliament. But there's more, much more that needs to be done if we're going to end the regional inequality that our islands and islands suffer from. Some issues, proper mobile broadband, an end to outrageous uh, parcel delivery charges, these things might need the full powers of independence to deal with. Proper support for renewable energy may need the full powers of independence. But there's much that we can do in the meantime to improve the lot of the highlands and islands, to, um, to, to, to narrow the gap of regional inequality that's persisted for a very long time and to, to halt the population loss that's been experienced by many of our more rural areas before that becomes catastrophic. So these are some of the reasons why I'm standing once again for the Scottish Parliament, why I'm asking for your vote, asking you to vote for me, Mike Mackenzie, number one for the Highlands and Islands. I've known Mike McKenzie for over 30 years, both as a friend and a fellow Islander. There's no one I would rather have represent me in Parliament than Mike, which is why I'll be voting for him, number one. I'll be voting Mike McKenzie, number one on the list, because I know he'll work tirelessly for businesses and communities throughout the Highlands and Islands.